Durham's water and sewer rates will be going up at moderate increments based on your level of water use. The city implemented the annual increases several years ago to pay for debt service and capital projects needed to keep the water and sewer system running. During its April 19th work session, the City Council heard from the Water Management Department about where the money from those increases has been going and why more rate increases are needed in next year's budget and in the future. Over the past year, $35 million in improvements have been made at the water treatment plants and the water reclamation facilities. The most work has been completed at the North Durham plant. We built, expanded out a new biosolids pad cover, which was uh, completed um, in the fall and that was needed this needed over the winter. It was a wet winter, so we couldn't take any of our biosolids and um, apply them to our um, to land apply our sludge. So our, our sludge pads got full, unfortunately, with, the, with a nice weather we had a break and we were able to clean the pads off. So that, that cover came in handy and that saved us having all the cost of having to dispose of that in the landfill. Um, in, in addition, we um, have the new aeration basin came online, the 2.7 million gallon aeration basin. Um, gives us six basins there to be able to handle wet weather better. Um, the new UV facility was constructed to replace the old UV and we fixed the concrete and structural defects that happened at the pretreatment facility and also with the replacing the steel and repainting of our clarifier. So you can see we did a, a lot of work at the North Durham plant and uh, to, to really take care of some, some ongoing needs. The North Durham plant serves half of Durham's residents and businesses. It just shows you what a big impact that the, the small increases that we've had in the past and what a great impact that's, they've made at our facilities. And to continue those types of improvements, the Water Management Department outlined why just over $31 million is needed in this coming year's budget and how it plans to raise that money. Increases to both the water and sewer service charges, a modest increase to the water consumption charges, an increase to the sewer consumption uh, charges. Of course, different uh, cu customers based on their usage will see different rates. Um, the, the highest impacts will be, of course, for dollar figures, will be at the uh, higher tiers and uh, will continue <coughs> the uh, tier three rates on the uh, non-residential accounts and will continue the double out outside rates. So here's what the rate increase for next year would look like. We're increasing the service charge um, from on the water from $5.56 up to $5.77 for an increase of 22 cents. Um, Marner increases just a, a couple pennies on the, the volumetric charges for water, a 24, 24 cent increase on the service charge for sewer and 11 cents increase on the volume charge for, for sewer. What do those increases mean for the average residential customer based on the water usage tier system? For tier one, it's 56 cents for a typical customer in that class, 89 cents for a tier two customer, $1.26 for a tier three customer, $1.80 and a tier four uh, customer, and uh, $3.25 for a tier five customer. Increases that will bring in an additional nearly $2 million of revenue that will ultimately have a long lasting impact on the city's water and sewer system. We're able to cover our, all our operating and maintenance costs, continue to fund the rehabilitation and renewal costs that we have through our CIP program, uh, provide sources for pay-as-you-go funding, um, limit the, the need for large revenue bond spending, keep rates low for over an extended period of time as opposed to having rate shock to our customers and, and continue to keep our financial position with the utility in the city strong. Two large revenue bond issues are expected in fiscal years 2014 and 16 to pay for even more extensive improvements needed to meet the Falls and Jordan Lake rules.